everybody. Happy Friday. So today, Daryl and I are going to go to this new Harmon's grocery store. I always go to Harmon's, you know that. But this is a brand new one and it's supposed to be super nice. And it's they built it in a a brand new shopping center. it's center. It's got like TJ Maxx and Michaels and Ulta and Burlington Coat Factory and all sorts of things. So we're just gonna go. Do they have a restaurant inside the rest the store? They have a sandwich shop inside the shopping center. They have a sandwich shop inside the shopping center. So we're gonna have lunch there. We've never been there. So we're gonna do that first. Or yeah, I mean you could go eat at like Harmon's Deli, Deli or whatever, I guess. Yeah, we could eat at Harmon's Deli if we wanted to, but we're we're probably going to try the sandwich shop. So anyway, and it's totally smoky outside. I went out to, to the mailbox and all you can do is, you can just smell the smoke because of all the fires burning around. There's the Down and Yogurt Factory. And when they start cooking it, it stinks. Do they have home goods? Home goods? Home goods? What? Home goods. Right. Also, it's Capriotti's sandwich shop. Pizza. I guess we could get pizza if you'd rather have pizza than sandwich. I don't care. It's up to you, dear. Tell me. You tell me. I don't care. Well, we decided against the sandwich shop <laughs> because we went in and it looked good, but then we decided we wanted mod pizza, but they're still building the place. They haven't opened yet and we didn't know that. So we walk out, we're like, okay, well, thanks anyway. And we walk out to go get pizza and they're not open. And we didn't want to go walking back into the sandwich shop because that's embarrassing. <laughs> so we're gonna go eat at the grocery store in their deli. Cause I don't think they have any other restaurants in here yet. This looks like a dental office or something. Cooking school. Buy it downstairs and then you can come up here and eat it. Oh. Well, this is a bust. <laughs> Today is just a bust. Pizza wasn't open. I know. This is like the lamest. We have the day off together and we decide to come here and go to lunch and then I think sounds good and there's only one restaurant in this whole place. Other than that, it's the grocery store. So we're gonna go find somewhere else to eat.
that's our problem. We never know what we want or what we want to do or where we want to go. And then we get in somewhere and then we're just like, well, let's turn around and leave because this is boring. Okay, so we were at Mountain View Village. That's where we were at. And down there is where the fire is. You can see it's all smoky. That's down in there is where it's coming from behind the mountains. Okay, now where are we at? The district? Yes. We're at the district. We're gonna see where we wanna eat here. We've got Village Inn, Sizzler, Red Robin. Okay, we're at the Village Inn. This is where we decided to come. <laughs> so I'm gonna get bacon and eggs and pancakes. Here it is, everybody. Oh, your skillet looks good. It looks, looks little compared to the pictures. Come down at all for the holidays, you know? I don't know. I didn't ask him. I'll have to ask. It kind of handles, I think, his uh, schedule. Hey, everybody! We're finished with the village inn, and I am riding solo. Daryl is at home taking a nap. <laughs> After all we ate, we both need naps, but I am on my way to the Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, my food was so good, but I am so full that I can't even think straight. So that is also my dinner. I don't even want to think about dinner. That just makes me want to hurl. So we're on our way to the Dollar Tree, and I do have a list of things to get which is probably the biggest list for Dollar Tree I've ever had. <laughs> it's, a, it's a legit list. It's got normal stuff on it, not just junk. So that's where we're going. And I keep thinking today is Saturday because Daryl's home, but it's just Friday. And yeah, excuse me, oh, still. Um, so Tuesday, I decorated my house for Halloween, and it seriously took me all day long for shizzle. All day long, just taking stuff down, just, you know, my normal everyday stuff down, bringing up the box of Halloween stuff, dusting, and then it took me forever to figure out what I wanted to put up, what I didn't want to put up, um where to put it. I can't tell you how many times I just sat there in a brain fog wondering, okay, where should I put this decoration? Should I put it here or there? It was insane. Hold on. Oh, so yeah. Um, took me all day long. And Daryl would laugh at me because I would hover over a piece of leaf garland. I would hover over the garland, fixing it and refixing it and shaping it. And then I'd take it down and put a different one on. Oh, I am just so glad that's over with. So we're at the Dollar Tree. All right. I went to the Dollar Tree. I'm home now. And I just bought four of these garlands. They're different. Two are the third. I got two of each. So one looks like that. And then the other one is kind of more maple leafy. I don't know. Like that. So I was going to put some in my windows in here and in the front room. But 
We'll see. I don't know if those work out. And then the rest of what I got, I got some clothes pins because I use them as chip clips. And they're just like bobby pins. They get lost. I don't know where they all went. And then I got some batteries. I got some rubber shelf liner and uh, uh, some candy. And I think that's it. So I've just been sitting here chillaxing. It's 6 o'clock. I'm going to be going for my run pretty soon. But anywho, I'm just playing with Momo. Shopping a couple places and things, and you know Tracy said she goes, you know I was because she, she went to Dollar Tree after we got back from uh, lunch. So I said I thought I saw Vince's car. I thought I saw. What are you doing? <laughs> Interesting. What are you yeah. doing? Well, I can see if Tracy wants to eat again, but I don't think she. <laughs> I think we just ate a little too. You know, we just ate like three hours ago or two. Hours, you know. You guys, look how cute. These are the purple lights I got at Walmart. And I had no idea they have all sorts of different stuff. They do slow twinkle, flash, fast alternate twinkle, Um, plain. In threes. Plain again. That is so cute. Yeah. That is so cute. And they were only two eighty eight. So these are just every other one, it looks like. I like that one. The kitties are fighting over the leaves. Lola was just growling at Momo for getting too close. Nobody likes to share. Nobody likes to share in this family. Maybe I won't do anything with those leaves. Maybe I'll just let them be for the babies. Okay, everybody. I'm going for my run. My jog. I got my nice fluorescent green shirt on. So nobody will run over me with their car. So I will check you when I get back. So look what I just came home to. Somebody's been sleeping in my pile of leaves and they're still there. Oh, you like that? You smashing my leaves? Yeah. It's me, good girl. Sissy won't come. She's on the bed. She's sleeping. She just got up there. She's not going to come down. Come on in. <laughs> no, no, no. Stay here. She wants to leave already. The minute I go to shut the door, she wants to leave. 
I got some of these at the Dollar Tree. Um, Daryl said, get some Mike and Ike's. And so I like this blue box. It's got Caribbean Punch, Strawberry Banana, Paradise Punch, Grape Soda, Kiwi Banana, Mango Delight, Watermelon, Pineapple Banana, Peach Berry, and Blue Raspberry. Mmm. They're so good. And then I got Daryl some of just the regular flavors. Anyway, Lola won't be coming because Daryl just barely dropped her off onto the bed. And she's not going to take the energy or time to get off the bed. Mm. So, my back is killing me My where my lower discs are. What is a good... What's good to take for, like, arthritis? Because I have arthritis in my back and the disc problem. Should I take ibuprofen, Aleve? What, Advil, what is better for this kind of pain? <sighs> it's horrible. I know I'm being rude eating these, but... I can't stop. My hair, I got out of the shower and now it's flat. I used that oil from L'Oreal, L Vive. It's good. It's a little thing of oil for my hair. And you, you just, I do two little pumps while my hair is wet and just rub it in and then blow dry. So it's not quite as frizzy. I totally need to get my hair done. My grays are showing through. It's just scraggly. I don't know. We'll see. I have to get the appointment. It takes forever to get an appointment. Um, so you guys, I took these, remember I got them at Michael's. I took these out yesterday and plugged them in because I was going to hang them across my bedroom window above the blinds. So I just plugged them in to see how hot they'd get because I knew they would get hot. These are glass and they got very, very hot. They're for indoor outdoor use, but it also said don't hang these, don't let them touch up against like vinyl siding or stuff like that. And my blinds are vinyl, you know. So they were just so hot that I didn't want to take a chance of burning my blinds. So I'm taking them back because I don't know, I don't really have anywhere to hang them. And they get so hot that I'm afraid to hang them anywhere. And I don't have anywhere to hang them outside, so. Oh well. I'm just going to take them back. Get my $13 back. But they're really cool. They looked really cool when I plugged them in. It's too bad. Too bad. Sorry. I just can't stop eating those. I need to quit it. So those little purple lights, the twinkle lights that I got from Walmart, well, they you can't just stick them on one setting and have it stay on that one setting. It's automatic. It's going to start out twinkly, and then a few seconds later, it's going to do the next one, and then a few seconds later, it's going to go to the next one, and then the next one. Which is kind of a bug because some of, you know, I don't, I like them to just stay twinkly. But they automatically go through each one of the 
um, phases, so I don't know. They're still cute though, and they're really long. And I want to hang those up above my blinds, but the battery pack will just like hang down against the wall, and it's heavy. And my blinds, they can't handle a lot of um, weight, so I don't know. And I thought about putting them around my TV, like just on my nightstand, or the, not my nightstand, but my dresser with the TV. But they are bright, and when they're looking right at you, they almost blind you. So I don't think that's a good idea. But I want them to go somewhere in my room. So maybe I'll just put them along the bottom on the windowsill. And call it good. But they are battery operated, so I can't leave them on all night long. But, oh well. $2.88 though, they're amazing. And tonight when I went jogging, I did 2.88 miles. I should have just kept going and made it an even three. But I just, I didn't have it in me. For some reason I just took a different route. I just felt compelled to do it and I knew it was going to be hard. But I did it and I walked a lot of it. But I did it. And I'm a Exhausted. I am just exhausted. And my back hurts. Um, I'm turn. I'm an old lady. I am turning into an old lady already. All right. Well, tomorrow Saturday. Oh, and when I went to the Dollar Tree, one of the main things I needed at the Dollar Tree were pretzels. Daryl has been wanting pretzels forever, and every time I went to the store, I wouldn't get them because I wanted to specifically get them at Dollar Tree, because everywhere else they're like $2, $3 bag. And I knew I was going to be going to the Dollar Tree, and so I wanted to wait. He's been asking all week for pretzels. Even today, before I went to Dollar Tree, he wanted the pretzels. I forgot the pretzels. So... Maybe tomorrow I'll go back to the Dollar Tree and get pretzels. I don't know. It, I don't think it's phasing him too much because he's just eating a big old thing of ice cream right now. Alright, I'm going to go. So I will check you later. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you have a wonderful sleeping. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>